everyone you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 this is equal to 80 so what is the value of x now let's provide a solution from here so we have x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 this is equal to 80 we can express x to the power of 9 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 then plus x to the power of 6 this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 80 now we have that x is a member of real numbers So therefore from here, let's take 80 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 80. This is equal to 0. Now, let x to the power of 3 be equal to u. So that now, here we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 80. This is equal to 0. So here we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 80, which is minus 64 minus 16. This is equal to 0. So this is the same thing as u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 64, which is 4 to the power of 3, minus 16, which is 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now here we have two parts. The first part is the difference of two, the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of three minus b to the power of three. The second part is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. The first part is the difference of two cubes that is expressed as a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Now, we have u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3, which we can express as u minus 4. Then here we have u squared plus, plus 4u, then plus 4 squared, which is 16. Now, let's call this equation 1. Here we have u squared minus 4 squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as u plus 4. u minus 4. So let's call this equation 2. So let's sum these two equations here. So we have u minus 4. We have u squared plus 4u plus 16 then plus u plus 4, then plus u minus, we have minus u minus 4, this is equal to 0. So we have that u minus 4 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 4, so that into the parentheses, here we have u squared plus 4u plus 16, then plus u plus 4, Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So now we have u minus 4. Here we have u squared plus 4u plus u. This is 5u. Then plus 16 plus 4, this is 20. Then this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 4. This is equal to 0. The second part here is u squared 
plus 5u plus 20. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u1 is equal to 4. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and that c is equal to 20. So let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we have 5 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 20. So 5 squared, this is 25, minus 20 times 4 which is 80. So we have 25 minus 80, and this is equal to minus 55, which is less than 0. And this implies that we have two complex roots we have two complex roots. And this means that there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. There is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. Therefore, this quadratic equation is rejected. This quadratic equation is rejected. So let's proceed with U1, which is equal to 4. Let's proceed with U1 which is equal to 4. Now that we have u1 is equal to 4, now if you recall, if you recall from here, we are saying that red x to the power of 3 b equal to u. So that we have x to the power of 3, this is equal to 4. To solve for x here, let's get the cube root on both sides. So this is equal to the cube root of 4. So this means this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3. This is equal to the cube root of 4, all 4 to the power of 1 over 3. So here we have that the value of x is equal to 4 raised to the power of 1 over 3. 3. So this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. If you recall, we end that x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So we have 4 to the power of 1 over 3, raised to the power of 9, then plus 4, raised to the power of 1 over 3, raised to the power of 6, this should give us a value of 80. So let's simplify here. We have that 9 divided by 3, this is 3, so this is 4 to the power of 3, then plus here we can simplify here by 3, 1, 6 divided by 3, this is 2, so plus 4 squared. This should give us a value of 80. 4 to the power of 3, this is 64. Plus, plus 4 squared, this is 16. This should give us a value of 80. 64 plus 16, this is 80, which is equal to 80. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is 4 to the power of a third, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.